I'm just drifting and adding a structure and I didn't brush my hair. Wow. Well, and did, I guess that's up to you. I talk my hair back for a change, which normally doesn't happen. So. Exactly what it is, man. Uh, what, uh, okay. Yeah, it is, I was gonna say. It's in the title, I know. Just make sure. Yeah, they literally sampled that exact thing, man. It's a really famous intro over here, so. Just making sure that, like, they're not, not used to what they should be. I wish you this is Africa. This doesn't sound like Africa to me, man. Also, what you mean to me? How did she lose everything that made her good? No, me either. It feels like she's just singing it, rather than feeling what she's singing. Like she's trying to be technical. But at the same time, being too technical is not good either. Yep. I guess technically good. Like, I'm not saying it's not technically bad. But being technically good isn't always 100% good. I'd rather have something not technically perfect that has passion, basically. Yeah, so we're not at 13, but I prefer much older epic than whatever this is. Like, yes, Mo, it's powerful as fuck. I'm not gonna say she's not either, but. At the same time, she has a passion either.
I thought that was bad mixing last album, personally. But yeah, basically, they made a Disney song, but just more metal. That's literally all the only thing that they did. Like, just look how it ended when that's the typical ending of any Disney villain song ever. So, what's with that Ben up keyboard? I've never seen one of those, or it could be a literal working keyboard, knowing Epica, to be fair. They're like their weird keyboard things. Like, they had that keyboard on um, wheels during one of their lives, didn't they? I think it was in Paris, or wherever they played. But yeah. Anyway, like, I love Epica. Epica are, like, a very, very good band. Like, they have some of my favourite songs, some of my favourite albums, but this, for me, isn't quite it, man. Like, yes, the ending was powerful, and the ending sounded sounded good, but, like I said, I'd rather something that's closer to the older stuff, man, where it's more passionate, it's more heartfelt, it's more where you can really feel what Simone is feeling, and Mar I, want, I want Mark is feeling, and you know what I mean, like, where... The whole band is really showing what they are and how they do shit. Like, this isn't it for me. This isn't why I started listening to Epica or why I enjoy Epica at any sense of the word anyway. But for me, it's just, I don't know, it's lackluster. It's like, 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 compositionally, it's like, it's an amazing composition, right? It's like taking things from like, um, the dance and Macabre theme, which is like a very famous theme over here, has been on one of like of like a TV show of the nineties, man. So, but still, like you can definitely see on you can see what's missing. Like at least like for me, the older that I've gotten with listening to metal and music in general, the more I try to find passion, the more I try to find those things. I prefer passion over technical skill. Technical skill doesn't mean shit to me. Like, like it's good to have it. But it's not everything, it's not the end will be, or somebody can have half the voice of Simone and be more passionate and win in this in this scenario. Does that make any kind of sense? I don't know if that's just me or if that's just like, or like what, man, but I don't know. I do miss an old epic. I missed the, before the last album, man, but still. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it.